So I overheard a lady talking about when she went to camp and a cabin in Dead Man's Hollow. This is located in Georgetown, Kentucky. The lady said that she had rented a cabin in the hollow. She heard the legend about the hobgoblin but she wasn't really a believer in that stuff. She went camping there because of the folklore cause she thought it was neat. She'd been there for a couple of nights because she couldn't sleep. Nights when she'd gotten up from bed, she said something felt off, she just didn't know what it was. She got up and watched some t and she had things to open her eyes only to re- After a couple hours a TV and read a book, do the next day, so well past the night. And she was heading back to bed something caught the corner of her eye. She turned to look and it must have just been a shadow. She didn't see anything. She felt the kind of creeped out. Like something was watching her. She she figured it must have been because of the late TV. She returned to bed. And she tossed and turned closed. a bit late. She couldn't get comfortable. Something was watching her. So she braved the darkness and... Realize that nothing was there. She laid there for a little while. Moonlight come through the window, with her eyes open, watching the moon because she felt like some. Suddenly, she felt the blankets hang hanging on the side of her bed move. She then saw a head slowly pop up on the side of the bed. It was a hairy creature with a green face. This was the hobgoblin. She closed her eyes tightly and threw her blanket over her head. Luck her hobgoblins are only mischievous and not necessarily evil. She apparently fainted because she woke up the next day and it was gone.